There's been a roller coaster ride in the world of React based web development recently. There's a lot of chatter and even more tweets flying around, and the question on everyone's mind is Is Gatsby dead? Once a prominent star in the Jamstack community, Gatsby went from raising a whopping $47 million funding since its inception in 2018 to getting acquired by Netlify in 2023 to mass layoffs on the same year. Over the last couple of years, Gatsby has gone from being a poster child of a successful open source startup to losing most of its market share and slowly fading from its glory. In this video, we take a look at the rise and fall of Gatsby.js. In 2018, Gatsby was like a rocket ready to conquer the universe of web development. It has just raised a cool 3.8 million seed round to drive the reinvention of static website development. Developers worldwide, including me, were hopeful, excited, and maybe even a little starstruck. Around the same time, some speculators on forums like Reddit questioned the fundraising on how it might shift the focus of the company to only profits and some even went ahead to compare Gatsby with the infamous Femus framework, which was an open source UI library back in the day and even managed to raise 30 million funding before it vanished into oblivion. But over the next years, Gatsby proved true to their promise and proved to be a forerunner in the Jamstack community by constantly improving their open source framework and investing heavily on their app's performance and security features. Gatsby soon launched their cloud-based website hosting product called Gatsby Cloud, which was aimed to provide an ongoing revenue stream to the company, which seemed like a scalable business model for their future rounds of fundraising as we'll see later. But at its peak, slow signs of turbulence started appearing in this rocket ship called Gatsby with the rise of many better alternatives to their product like Versal's Next.js. Popular annual developer surveys like the one from Stack Overflow and State of JS give us our first hints. Over the next few years, we would see Next.js rise to the sixth most desired app while Gatsby slowly sank to the very end. In the last few months, the once bustling Gatsby repo has seen a significant drop in the commit activity. On NPM Trends, a popular website for comparing NPM packages, Gatsby's popularity has also been fast declining compared to competitors like Next.js and then came their acquisition by Netlify last year. Over the next couple of months, we would see Gatsby's primary revenue source Gatsby Cloud integrated into Netlify's hosting. And just a couple days back, Netlify announced end of service for the Gatsby Cloud product and migration path for existing customers into Netlify's own hosting. Meanwhile, Gatsby's engineering headcount has been slowly sinking to as much as 78% in just the last year according to LinkedIn reports. One of the core contributors of Gatsby and now an ex-employee tweeted the Gatsby team has been diminished to just one person by August. As tech Twitter started questioning Gatsby's future, just then the news hit. Layoff at Netlify. With so many ex-Gatsby folks looking for a new role, it truly felt like end of an era. And then came the ominous tweet from Fred Scott, the creator of Astro that there has been no commits in the Gatsby repo in the last 24 days. Yeah, I read it right. The bad news train just kept chugging along. Sam Bhagavad, the co-founder of Gatsby.js, posted about the Netlify layoffs, which impacted many ex-Gatsby folks. Also, Material UI, one of the most popular front-end design system frameworks, started removing Gatsby.js from their projects and stocks, citing the very low number of users. Meanwhile, data from NPM Trends also corresponded to the declining popularity of Gatsby over its competitors. And the same thing was echoed by famous developer surveys like Stack Overflow and State of JS when it came to popularity of this framework. So is Gatsby dead? Well, if you're judging by these parameters, definitely the future doesn't look very promising. While one can still fork the open source project or keep maintaining your old blog, the wise thing might be to jump ships into one of the more popular options like Astro or Next.js. As a side note, my personal website which still runs on Gatsby.js would see some facelift in the next couple of days and I would migrate it to something a little more powerful and chic. 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 And that is the rise and fall of Gatsby.js. If you want to see more videos about tech, software engineering, web, and productivity, you can subscribe to this channel and I'm sure you'll find something interesting here. Thanks for watching. I am Shivalik and I'll see you guys in the next video.